purpose of the picture that's on my website, but I tried to draw it as best I could here. In this case, a woman is pulling a crate, and she's pulling with a rope, that's this red arrow here, with a force of 30 newtons. The crate's going to go a distance of 5 meters to the right, and she does a total of 136 joules of work. The question is, what's the angle that she's pulling with? So I pulled my numbers out, the force of pull is 30, the distance that it moves is 5, the work is 136 joules, and I want to know what my angle is. So I'm going to write down my work equation. I know that the work is going to equal the force that you're pulling times the cosine of the angle multiplied by the distance that the object happens to be going. So from here, we're trying to solve for the angle. So I'm going to get the cosine of theta all by itself, which means I'm going to have to divide the force and I'm going to have to divide the distance over to the left side. So on the left side, I have work, and now I'm dividing that by the force of pull and the distance that I'm pulling. And on the right side, I still have my cosine of theta. Now you can't divide cosine. Very common mistake. People think you can divide or multiply cosine. Cosine is not a number. It's actually a mathematical function. So in order to get rid of the cosine on the right side, we have to do the other mathematical function. Like up top here, we were multiplying force and distance, so we divided it, which is the opposite thing. Here I'm doing the cosine, so I have to do the opposite thing, which is inverse cosine. So on the left, I'm going to do the inverse cosine which is cosine negative 1. It's that little button on your calculator that looks like that. And I'm going to do the inverse cosine to the work divided by the force times the distance. And when I plug that into my calculator, I should get my angles. Now I'm going to plug in the numbers. So I have my inverse cosine, my number for work, is 136 joules. The force is 30 newtons. And the distance is 5 meters. So when I plug all those numbers into my calculator, what I find is that she has to be pulling at 25 degrees to make this happen.